Hello and welcome to Gardening in 58 North. In this video I'd like to talk about poinsettias and specifically I'd like to talk about why poinsettias always seem to die in everyone. People might be successful with lots of different house plants but when it comes to poinsettias they last one or two weeks and then all the leaves drop off and the whole plant dies. So the first thing to realise with poinsettias is it's probably not your fault that they've died. You can probably grow lots of houseplants successfully and poinsettias for you will just die pretty soon after you, you buy them. The reason is poinsettias are really a tropical plant and we're selling them at the time of year when it's at its coldest. And also the way that poinsettias are sold is a big reason why they don't last that long. I'll go into the details now but basically it's to do with temperature. If the temperatures get below 12 degrees Celsius then the plant goes into a, th a thermal shock, it sheds all its leaves and it doesn't usually recover. So when it comes to buying a poinsettia you need to take that into consideration. The, uh, the shop you buy it from is a big determining factor probably in whether it's going to survive or not. So poinsettias are grown in commercial greenhouses and they're uh, kept nice and warm in the kind of in con tropical conditions that they're used to. Poinsettias naturally come from South Mexico near the Guatemala border so they're used to tropical conditions all year round so they're not used to any cold temperatures and that's why the cold temperatures really damages them so much. So if you buy it from a garden center you're more, you're more likely to, uh, to have a plant that will survive. Poinsettias bought in supermarkets and other shops that generally don't sell plants they're a lot less likely to survive. The reason being if these are transported on a lorry or a truck which isn't heated and you live in a cold country that lorry or truck is going to get below 12 degrees celsius for a number of hours and that's going to kill the plant whereas if it's bought from a garden center or maybe a florist they'll have heated uh, delivery vehicles and they'll keep the temperature high enough that the poinsettias won't get to that critical temperature and die off also when it comes to shops that don't normally sell plants, most of the uh, staff there probably don't know about poinsettias and how temperature sensitive they are. So they might leave the plants outside for a half an hour or something whilst they're unloading the rest of the delivery. Or overnight they might leave it near in, in a cold storage area such as a cold warehouse or a refrigerator. And also when it comes to selling the plant, they might often have it near a doorway where you've got the cold air coming in and out. So if you can, try and get it from a garden centre or in a, some kind of nursery or place that has expertise in plants they're most more likely to get it delivered to them in the correct environment and also look after it until you purchase it in the right environment. So next I'd like to talk about when you're wanting to buy the plant what to look for. So you found a, a garden center or a shop that sells plants and you're happy that they know what they're doing then you want to look at the poinsettias most of them will come like this they'll be packaged in plastic that just, that's just to protect them whilst they're in transport and also just to make it look a bit nicer for the customer. So it can be quite difficult to see what's going on especially if you've got a packaging like this where it's printed so you can't see the bottom half of the plant and it's really the bottom half that you want to see. So I'm going to take this out now and show you what you're looking for when you're buying the plant. So the main thing you're looking for is any leaf drop. Even if the plant's starting to lose just one or two leaves, the chances are it's probably going to lose all its leaves at some point. So you want to make sure there's absolutely no sign of thermal shock. So what you do is you have a look at the bottom of the plant, make sure there's no recently fallen off leaves. There's a couple of leaves here, but as you can see they're dried, uh, they're dried up and uh, starting to go mouldy. So they've actually probably been there for uh, at least a month, so that's not something to worry about. But if there's any yellow leaves or green leaves that are falling off and at the bottom of the pot, don't uh, buy that plant because that will die within a couple of weeks. And if you're looking in the shop and most of them are showing signs of that, I would go to a different shop. If you're in a shop um, where they're all like this and they're not dropping any at all, that's exactly what you're looking for. A plant like this is perfect. As you can see, all the leaves are a nice green color. Even the lower down ones are going yellow and there's nothing on the surface, no fallen leaves, so it's looking quite healthy. And then once you've found somewhere which has lots of leaves like that, you want to then look at the individual plants, just go for a nice bushy one, whatever one you think looks the nicest. But you can also look inside the rosette as well to give you an idea of how far they are on the uh, flowering phase. i will give you an idea of how long they might last for. So looking into the centre of the rosette, these are the actual flowers. The, the uh, outer section isn't the flower itself, that's just some brightly coloured leaves to attract the insects. It's the inner section which is the flower. And you're looking at how far along in the flowering phase the plant is to determine how many more weeks of, uh, of show you might get on it. When looking if it's dropped leaves or not, that will give you an indication if it will last more than a couple of weeks. And if, if it hasn't dropped any leaves, it should last you for a few years, as long as you keep it warm enough. 
and uh, looking at the flowers will give you an indication of how long the red uh, red leaves will stay around for. So this is basically an indication of how long it will keep that nice red colour because eventually it will start putting on new growth and then you just have green leaves again. So looking in the centre of the rosette you'll see a little cluster of, uh, of buds and these are the actual flowers. You can see this one in the middle here, it has uh, some little, little uh, yellow dots coming out the middle. That's the flower opening and starting to flower. All the ones around it are still closed up. So this one is only just starting to come into the flowering phase. So this one should give me at least a month or so of nice bright red leaves before it starts growing any green leaves. So this is a perfect stage to be purchasing it. I'll just show you an example now of what it looks like when it's completely closed up. So if the flowers are completely closed, this should look more like this. That's also a good stage to buy it at. That's really early on in the flowering stage. Um, so you, you know that's going to last for quite a while. You can see some of them are still green and very small. Other ones are only just starting to show red. So that means it's just at the beginning of the flowering phase. So what you want to avoid is ones that are completely out like this one here. So if, if all the flowers are completely out and they've got white and they've got these little uh, yellow dots, that means that the... Uh, the plant is near the end of its flowering phase or is in full flower or have a little bit less time on it. This one is okay because actually around the outside there's younger ones coming up but if they're all these larger ones or if the ones on the outer part of the circle are, are like this with the yellow dots that means it's going over. Basically what happens is the one in the middle is the first one to flower and then the smaller ones around the side are later. So if you've got the ones in the middle with no yellow dots but all the ones around the outside are that's probably quite late flowering stage. So basically the less yellow dots, the less open flowers and also you're making sure that they're starting from the middle and moving to the outside. If it's all the ones on the outside which are fully formed, you don't have any smaller ones coming on, that also means it's towards the end of its flowering phase. So now you found the right place to buy a plant, you found one that hasn't got any leaves that are dropping, the next stage is to, um, to take it home without getting any thermal shock. So when you're buying poinsettias, if you can, try and buy them on a warmer day. Don't, don't buy it when it's well below freezing because even taking it to the car, that short five minute journey to the car and to the house is probably enough to, to give a thermal shock and kill the plant within a few days. So you want to make sure it's a slightly warmer weather if you can. If you don't live somewhere that has uh, temperatures above freezing during the day in, at this time of year, what you need to do is, if you can, park your car closer to the, the shop take it straight in there. Yeah, you could ask the uh, the assistants in the shop to put this in a large bag or cover it up with some type of, type of wrapping just to give it that little bit of insulation and when you get home I from the car to the house in a short space of time or park in the garage and then walk into the house because what you really don't want is this poinsettia to get any cold air on it. Also when it comes to buying the poinsettias you might want to buy it just before Christmas so it doesn't lose its leaves. But the problem with buying this just before Christmas is all the nurseries normally grow this to be available in the shops at the beginning of December. If you're buying it at the end of December, this has been sitting in a shop for several weeks. It's not been looked after perfectly because it's quite difficult to look after in its optimum conditions in a shop environment. And so it's going to be quite stressed and it's more likely to drop all its leaves and die in the, in the future. Is if you buy this just as it first comes into the shop, end of November, beginning of December, it's been growing its whole life in a perfect growing environment in the nursery. It's only been in the shop for a few days, so it should have a lot less chance of getting thermal shock and much better chance that it should survive. So try and buy them earlier in the year if you can. That way there's more likely that they'll survive to Christmas, even if it might seem counterintuitive because you might, might want to buy it just before Christmas so it doesn't drop its leaves, but it's actually better to buy it well before Christmas. So I'll quickly talk about how to look after it once it's in your house. This is actually quite an easy plant to look after if it doesn't get thermal shocks. So if it does survive for two weeks or three weeks, you're probably going to have it survive for many years. I've had some that I've had for three or four years now. What I find is if they're going to die, they'll normally die within the first month. And if they survive for a month and then start putting on new growth, they'll normally last for many years. So it really is to do with the thermal shock. So when you have this in your house, keep it somewhere above 12 degrees. Ideally have it in room temperature, about 20 degrees Celsius, something like that. And uh, keep it away from any cold drafts. So I wouldn't put it on the floor if it's near a door because you'll get a cold draft coming in. And the cold air generally stays towards the ground level, so it'll sweep under and uh, could give that a cold shock. Also keep it away from windows as well. You don't want it um, near a window because you often get cold drafts, especially if you have curtains between the window and the windowsill. If you draw the curtain, you'll get a cold layer of air tra trapped between the window and the, and the curtain, and that could cause it to go below 12 degrees Celsius and cause an issue with leaf drop. When you're enjoying it for the winter period, keep it in a bright location, but don't worry too much about giving it the perfect light levels. It tends to stop growth at this time of year and just focuses on flowering. Just give it somewhere that's warm, that's the main thing you need to worry about. 
once it's finished flowering then you can think about more of its long term growth and that's when you need to give it more light better light conditions I'll put a link in the description for a video that I've done about how to look after after flowering that'll just go into that a bit more depth but basically um, you just want to keep it in nice tropical conditions so if it hasn't got cold shot the only other real thing that could kill it at home is overwatering. these plants come from a tropical environment but they have a dry season and a wet season and at this time of year towards winter it tends to be the dry season where they come from so they don't want a lot of water what you want to do is just make sure the compost is kept damp but never soaking wet so if you have a saucer underneath the plant, make sure there's never water sitting in the saucer. And when it comes to watering, let the compost dry out very slightly before watering again. So you don't want it constantly damp, just let it slightly dry out and then water it. You just want the first uh, two or three centimeters, maybe the top inch of compost to dry out and then start watering again. If it's kept constantly damp, it's more, more at risk to dying. Um, but, but, but you don't want it to completely dry out, otherwise it can go into shock and lose its leaves that way. As long as it's a little bit damp underneath that first inch of serve compost, then that should be perfect. So that's about it for this video. The main thing, as I say, is cold shock. Make sure you buy it from a shop that knows what they're doing with the plants. Make sure you don't get it cold on the way home. And also keep it somewhere warm during the holiday season. So that's all for this video. I'll leave some links into some other uh, growing set here videos I've done in the past. Basically with this plant, it's quite easy to look after. But if it has had that cold shock, it's almost guaranteed to die.